In this tutorial, we're going to look at animation in DrawPlus and explore how it can be used to bring your drawings to life. There are two types of animation, stop frame and keyframe. With stop frame, static objects are animated frame by frame, whereas with keyframe, you can set the beginning and end frames and DrawPlus will fill the intermediate steps automatically. Today, we're going to look at the second option, keyframe animation. So let's get started. From the Startup Wizard, click Keyframe Animation on the left. In the Page Setup dialog, choose a page size and then click OK. I've created this drawing using some objects from the Seasons category in the Gallery tab. Feel free to create it for yourself to follow along with this tutorial. Now I'm going to bring it to life by animating a flying bumblebee. To begin, Open the Gallery tab and choose the Bumblebee from the Animals category. Then drag it over to the left hand side and position it on the pasteboard just outside the page. You can resize it using the resize handles if you need to. To make the Bumblebee fly, we'll need to add keyframes. On the Storyboard tab, click Insert and then in the dialog enter 9 into the Number of Keyframes box and click OK. The inserted frames appear in the Storyboard tab. If you click on any of the frames, you'll see that they're exact copies of the first frame. This makes it much easier to animate objects. Now, we'll start animating. To do this, click to select the last keyframe and then drag the bee to the opposite side of the page. This creates the linear path that we saw in the Quick Start tutorial. If we quickly preview the animation, we can see that the bee is flying in a straight line. Each light grey square corresponds to a keyframe in the Storyboard tab. To change the shape of the path so the bee flies around more freely, simply click on a keyframe and then move the bee up or down on the page. Preview again to see the bumblebee fly undulated. At the moment, the bee moves at a constant speed throughout the whole animation. I'd like to vary the speed to make the movement more interesting. We can do this by applying object envelopes. In keyframe animation, when you select an object that's animated, the easing tab becomes available. Here, you'll find lots of different envelopes which control how an object's properties change over time throughout the keyframes. By default, the envelopes all share the same constant rate of change, but we can change this by modifying the profile settings. Today, we'll look at using a position envelope. With the B selected, expand the envelopes drop down list on the easing tab and select Position Envelope. In the envelope profile pane, you can see a blue straight diagonal line. This represents the B's rate of change. At the moment, it's constant but we can change it by selecting a preset from the drop-down list. Alternatively, you can set the rate of change yourself by clicking on the line and dragging it up or down as required. The spacing of the light grey nodes has changed and they've got closer together every time they approach a dark grey keyframe node. If you preview your animation again, you'll see that the speed at which the bee is flying changes throughout the animation. To change the speed of your animation, you can add, remove and change the position of keyframe nodes and then adjust the position envelope accordingly. Our bee looks a little lonely, so let's add another. This time, we'll position it on the right hand side of the page. Underneath the object, you'll see the Run Forward button. Click this button and ensure To End of Storyboard is selected in the dialog. Click OK and the bee will appear in all keyframes. At the moment, when we animate the bee, it will look like it's flying backwards. To change this, we can quickly flip it by clicking the Flip Horizontal button on the standard toolbar. To apply this change to all of the keyframes, click the Update to Attributes Forward button and ensure to End of Storyboard is selected, then click OK. 
In the final keyframe, move the bee to the opposite side of the page as before. The bee will now be flying forwards throughout the animation. You can now animate the path of the bumblebee as we did in the first example. When you've finished your animation, you'll probably want to export it. To do this, open the File menu and select Export, Export as Flash SWF. This is a standard Shockwave Flash file. Simply choose a file name and location for your animation and then click Save. Our keyframe animation is complete. Well, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed exploring animation and are looking forward to creating your own characters which can come to life. For more information, see the Help, the How To tab, or the other online tutorials. Thanks for watching!